Hey guys, welcome back to Chicken Fried Kitchen Sandwich Saturday. Today we're kicking it off with the Cubano, Florida's most famous sandwich, the Cuban sandwich. Amazing. I gotta tell you, we made our own bread, we did our own pork, a mojo pork with the uh, mojo sauce. Oh, it's amazing. All right, so first off, we gotta, we gotta create our starter. So we're gonna go with some yeast. Uh, I'm using active instant yeast with some warm water and uh, some flour. We're gonna let that sit overnight in the fridge with some plastic wrap and we'll be good to go. All right, we got that mixed up, wrapped up. We're coming in with some uh, mint, onions, oranges, garlic, limes, olive oil, salt, doing it all. Add all that into a blender, you got your mojo sauce. Enjoy it. Get that mojo sauce blended up. We're gonna reserve a cup and a half of that in a bottle to put on the sandwiches. The rest of it we're gonna pour over the pork butt as a marinade. And then we're gonna put the pork butt on a smoker in the oven, whatever you have available to you. We just need to cook the pork butt to uh, an internal temp of 160 degrees. Then we're gonna wrap it. We wanna make sure that it doesn't get any extra smoke or anything like that. Plus, when you wrap it in the uh, foil, it's gonna tenderize the pork, let that fat render down. Uh, we're gonna do that until 195 degrees, then we're gonna pull that bad boy off of there and it is just to go. Time to make the Cuban bread. Let's dump in some yeast, water, we're gonna go sugar, then salt, and then we're gonna do some flour. And then on the flour, we're gonna take that starter that we made earlier, we're gonna put the starter on, and then the secret ingredient is the lard. I know it sounds crazy, but don't skip the lard. It makes it, I promise. Put it in your stand mixer, mix it up, you're gonna see the consistency, it's gonna be perfect. Put it in a well-oiled pan, you're good to go. Let that rise for about an hour, then you're gonna to wanna to punch it down, let it rise for about another hour, and then we're good to go on the bake. All right, we're preheating that oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna bake those for about 20 minutes. Put some flour down. 
We're gonna roll these out into three loaves. Then we're gonna score them on the top. Don't score too deep. I did that. You don't wanna do that. And uh, then pop them in the oven. And they're good to go. Slice them up and I'm gonna show you how to serve them. Boom, done. Alright, here we go, rolling out the Cuban loaves. I hope that you've enjoyed the video so far. We're going to get these rolled out, put them on a pan, put them in the oven. They're going to bake, they're going to smell delicious. you got to score them a little bit. Don't score them too deep either, I, I promise you that. You don't want to score them too deep. I did that. Oops, my bad. Put them in the oven, 400 degrees, 20 minutes, you're good to go. Make sure to put that water on them. I didn't have a spray bottle. If you have a spray bottle, just spray them down. You don't have to do all this extra work like I'm doing. But, you know what? It is what it is. They turn out fantastic. They taste fantastic. This Cuban is fantastic. And you know what? If you like it, like the video, subscribe to my channel, comment, share. And you know what? Even if you don't like it, if you're from Florida and I'm not doing it right, tell me. I want to see that comment too. Thank you so much. Slice, slice up those pickles. Stack that sandwich. Watch how I stack that sandwich and you enjoy it. Thanks for uh, watching Chicken Fried Kitchen. Sandwich Saturday. Bye-bye.